Hi, I am IT PhD and today I'll tell you how programs work. So for example, when you just start a calculator or any other program, what's happening inside of your computer? It's important to understand it to be able to write good programs. And it's just fun to understand it, of course. So uh, when you just start any program, for example, calculator, uh, you should understand that it's compiled program. So it's we do not have it um, this source code. We have it at GitHub, by the way, for calculator. But still, uh, we have just binary file. And as our editor just trying to interpret, interpret it as a text, uh, but actually, if we will open it in hex editor, we will see that it's just binary file with zeros and ones, which we see right now represented in hexadecimal format, but still it's just ones and zeros. And actually, what's your PC doing with it? It's put, it just copies all content of this file. It just copies, simply copy it to the random access memory. So let's, let's uh, write here that it's random access memory. And all these zeros and ones, they are copied to the bottom of the random access memory, not really to the real bottom, because uh, your operation system is already loaded in this random access memory, and it's delegate some uh, some space there for this process. Your operation system is just simply copy all all this stuff to the bottom, and this section. So if we will do it like this, it's this section, it's called uh, just text. Yeah, like programmers, they call this section text. So source, file, copy it. And every element of this uh, zeros and ones, it has its own addresses, which you could actually uh, find if you disassemble this program if you would uh, try to change something in it. So I'll, I'll tell about it in my next videos, how to do it. So next thing, it's also uh, has pu put all your variable, variables which initialized or non-initialized yet, all global variables. So this section called data and it's contain all uh, global variables. Not a big deal, really. So what does it mean? It means that if we will take our Hello World, for example, uh, program, and uh, we will take a look at it, it's very simple, and we will, we will make some static, for example, static variable, like static A, um, static int A, which, uh, which is uninitialized, it will go to the data, or if we will make it uh, initialized, it will go to the data too, because data actually it uh, consists of two parts. So there are two parts of data for initialized and non-initialized variables. Uh, but it's only global stuff uh, or static. So if you would make some global variables before your main function, it will also like uh, go there. Next thing, next important thing, it's, uh, yeah, let's uh, go back. It's actually how uh, your regular functions works in your program. Because in the text of your program, of course, there are uh, maybe a lot of different functions. So for example, we could make a function, like summon any function, summon function. And this function, of course, we need to make uh, this function uh, to determine it, like which stuff it could um, return and which stuff it uh, can uh, process. So, for example, this uh, return uh, something, but it wouldn't uh, take anything in it. These functions will go to the stack. So, the most upper part of your uh, almost most upper a part of your uh, memory, it's go for stack. So it's the place where functions, functions, they are moved there 
to the stack and all their parameters too and uh, so it's kind of st stack what's the difference between stack and heap maybe you heard about heap heap it's another uh, place in the memory in heap we put stuff which we allocate so if we will make malloc for example so if we, if you want if you will uh, do for example here if you will say like malloc something yeah is th this will go this will go to the heap when you uh, allocating memory but uh, like functions and when one function summon another function in all will go to the stack and stack it grows to the uh, bottom while heap uh, grows um, <laughs> on other side so stack goes to the low addresses while uh, heap goes to the maximum addresses so it's how your program uh, loaded to the memory and it start working so now important thing what does it mean that a program works we have our cpu it's like our processor unit and all the time this cpu it goes uh, to the text to the text of the program and it takes from there uh, like number of the line you could say like address address of current instructions which say what to do and this cpu puts this uh these instructions to special also memory like we have random access memory which is huge and it's kind of outside from at other place not at our cpu so cpu has its own memory and um, cpu memory it's called registers so le registers it's very fast small memory we could ca call it like memory without really uh, types and there are a lot of different registers i'll tell about them uh, a bit later in our uh, assembly le uh, lesson but for now what you should understand that uh, like your text of your program which you will see um, which you see in your hex editor so what's happening with this, this text CPU put into its registers uh, some addresses, variables, and perform calculations in its uh, in its registers, and it go uh, to certain address in your in your text in program text, and after he like finish with some of it, like uh, okay, he uh, finished with this. Uh, instructions he go to the next one and then he also put it to its registers it's computed and then it moves uh, to the next uh, address like to, to, to the next part in this text so actually it's very easier i mean uh, i always when i just started to learning it science uh, i always it was like a mystery how, how program works but actually it's very easy it's kind of very close to stuff which we see here i mean uh yeah we just program it goes from one place to another if in certain place uh, function cement it jumps somewhere so in in the in the hexadecimal okay in the binary code it go it works the same so it's jumping from one place to another looking uh, looking for this uh addresses which actually like physical addresses uh, okay virtual addresses in the memory so it's just complete one by one uh, from the start to the bottom and it's how how it actually works so i hope this uh, explanation might uh, help you to understand that it's not so scary and mystery and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll make more videos thanks for watching bye bye